Albert Einstein even said, the most powerful force in the universe is compound interest. My name is John Justice. I'm the operations manager of Cafe Brioso in Columbus, Ohio. What I bring to the table is articulation and making and education which is awesome. What we try to do is make the value of the product the experience itself. Because it's such a great commodity, it's so flavorful, and it's fairly inexpensive. Let's just say, easy way, you can make very tasty beverages with coffee beans themselves. And that's the value for me. We also like it because you know, we like caffeine and coffee both. Can you imagine your life without coffee? Coffee itself, which people don't realize, is a seed of a fruit. So inside the coffee cherries are two little seeds. Generally, this is how the coffee plant propagates itself. They'll take these seeds and plant them, and it'll take up to seven to ten years for them to be able to get a coffee crop off this. You'll get about three to four thousand beans. That only equals out to about one to one and a half pounds of roasted coffee per tree. In our store right now, we probably have about 900 trees worth of coffee. We'll rotate those 900 trees out in about two weeks. Compound interest is the impact your investment gains will have when they're reinvested. Now what does a coffee bean have to do with compound interest? Let's say you have one coffee bean. How much coffee can you make? One coffee bean can give you one coffee plant. And on one coffee plant, you can get about 3,000 to 4,000 seeds or beans. Now that you have 3,000 coffee beans, let's say you take it a step further and you plant all 3,000 coffee beans, giving you 3,000 plants. How many new beans will you have? You'll have over 9 million new beans. What if you even took it a step further and you planted 9 million beans? Then you'd have 27 billion beans. That's the power of compound interest. Taking what you have and investing it and over time allowing it to grow.